Hey guys, I'm Kishan Nakum. Welcome back to my another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how can you implement the Spring animation to your UI view. In the previous video, I show you how can you apply basic animation to view. In case you didn't, so this see this video. I'm going to give you a link in the description. Please find it so you guys see that in the basic animation there is a, a very fluid movement of the view it's only happen in the single direction as i as i'm show you the last last video's example and run this mm, it's running You guys can see that the animation is just very straightforward. It it happens from one point to another point. Like uh, the minor, uh, the if you can see in the view will appear. Uh, the center first the center x suppose say it's a point A, and and we are going to set point B. So the animation happens from A to B but some spring animation is some more more complex animation than the basic one in this type of animation uh, views move as if they were attached with spring so let's quickly see the example of spring animation uh, let me comment uh, last videos code so you guys can concentrate only spring animation as uh, I'm going to sh go show you the storyboard uh, we are going to implement this spring animation in the login button so here you can see that there is an outlet of the login button again I'm going to say that if you didn't see the first video I just uh, made this uh, storyboard and take this outlets to this view controller so I'm going to apply spring animation to the login button so now if I say that uh, login button dot center dot x minus equal to 50 and let's say login button dot alpha equal to 0 I'm setting this some initial center point and and making it invisible first now in the view did appear after view appears we are going to show the spring animation so for that there is one method the, some somewhat same like the basic animation but this time spring animation so ui view dot animation you can see that there are several methods given but we have to say using spring with damping so in this method we, we have to provide the uh, duration of the animation like we provide in the previous basic animation delay will be 0.5 you can say whatever you want uh, using spring with damping is the let's initial value is 0 0.5 the initial spring velocity the spring velocity decides uh, the movement of your animation so let's say right now we are going to set the initial velocity is 0 option we can say right now is nil it's an array empty array so an animation block we are going to animate our button so self dot login button dot center dot x equal to plus equal to 50 and self dot login button dot alpha equal to 1 and completion handler will be the nil now if i run the app and see what's the output
you can see that there is a nice animation coming from left to right it's it look like spring we didn't uh, get much from this let's play with some values here let's say duration will be somewhat long of two and now run and let's see what was what is going to happen if I run now and you can see that there is a some feel like uh, it's attached with spring now if I play that uh, the velocity will be 50 so maybe it give me some more movement uh, damping will be 0.2 and let's run and see I don't know if it's give something dumb type of error. Let's run again. And you can see that right right now you are going to take some perfect uh, example. That's how spring animation works. You can see that it looks like attached with spring. And here you can not uh restrict yourself by simply changing in the center point and alpha you can also change the uh, size of the button as well so let's try this let's login button dot bounce dot size dot width let's say width i'm going to increase by 50 and let's say now what animation i'm going to get You can see that there is very nice effect we are getting from this spring animation. Uh, this spring animation is very useful. Like uh, if user if user enter the password incorrect, then you can uh, move your log uh, this uh, login button and uh, sorry not login button but the text field and say that your password is incorrect it was very helpful in that case also you can play with these values and give in take some beautiful animation effects in return so this is it for the spring animation it's very simple trick and uh, you can get very attractive look of your view so that's it for today's video Thank you so much for watching and please keep share like and subscribe my channel thank you so much have a nice day